Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke representing the Shibboleth Lifestyle here locally in Kennesaw, Georgia and around the world via technology. And I am coming on here for our morning motivation, daily devotion and fun focus. So I do hope that you join this live this morning. We are four days in to the 2022 edition of the Game of Life. And I hope that you are playing along with me. When you hop on here this morning, please say what type of Shibboleth day you are having and where you're watching from. And good morning. I'm having a Shibboleth IMF day. IMF stands for intermittent fasting. And it's not this big scary thing that people think about. If you go at least 12 hours without eating, and that can include your overnight eating, um, sleeping time, then you can call it an IMF day. I typically get in about 16 a day. Um, but that's just what has worked out for me. Now that I start off that way, I did not. But in April, it'll be three years for Shibboleth, so you tweak and learn and adapt, and you start new things that become part of the fabric of what you do. So hop on here and say what type of day you're having. Now, if you are doing the 21 day challenge, we are on day two, and I hope that you had a perfect day one. And this is what I'm gonna say right now, don't give up, no matter what, don't give up. You may say, I can do day one and day two, but day three is hard. If you've ever said anything like that, recognize it, identify it, and beat day three, or whatever day it is for you beat it, okay? So we're gonna do those 21 perfect days to jumpstart our self-discipline muscle. So I had a perfect day yesterday, and you know how we are so blessed when we see that weight drop like that with Shibboleth. And when we don't see such a big weight loss, we're, we're kinda of disappointed. But I was 143 yesterday, I lost a pound and a half yesterday, you know, I'll get a little greedy. I wanted to see 140. I wanted, you know, I wanted three pounds to be gone because it happens a lot of times, but it didn't happen this time. So what my mind, what I told myself, coaching myself is you've got 21 days to get this off. You got 21 days. There's no pressure. You know, I just took the pressure off me saying I'm in for the long haul. Let's see what happens at the end of 21 days. See, I just coached myself with that. I know the truth. That'll be off way before then. But I gave myself the freedom of that time and that calming down and starting to add the patience in as well. So yesterday, I gave y'all three words that were the titles, names, titles, and attributes of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Did anybody use those yesterday? I actually did. I was driving to an event that I didn't really want to go to. I always enjoy the events when I get there, but sometimes getting there is the thing, but I had to go. And all the way there, I don't know what I was talking about, but I said the three words. So it was so fun to have pulled something out of the Shibby Show yesterday morning and use it during that drive yesterday afternoon. So yesterday's words were Abba Father, abiding and able. Today's words, it's, it's, a, it's a two for today, abounding and abundant abounding and abundant. And these are in alphabetical order, so we're gonna do all the A's first. But abounding and abundant, and when I think the, of, it, of that as an attribute, I just think of the abundant life that the Lord wants to give us through His Son, Jesus Christ. So, abounding and abundant are our words for today. And you know what I was talking about last night in class? We were going over the word portion. And when I say portion, you say what? It's kind of like a cheer. When I say portion, you say, um, so I want to see if y'all can say it. See, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for a second. I'm going to read who's here, and we'll go back into that in just a second. Let's see. Hey, Melanie, good morning from Royston, Georgia. Chris, good morning, Jacksonville, Florida. I am F day, down point six. First day of the challenge. That is awesome. Let's see. Uh, Rhonda, I am F here on this cold morning in Alabama. Girl, it is too cold for me. And I'm a Southern girl. I just want to move even more Southern. Um, hey, Cindy, good morning. I am F Day in Moultrie, Georgia. I am F Day. Oh, no, I don't know where that came from. Hey, Amy from Ohio. It's a perfect day. Day two of the 21 day challenge. Y'all, this is, this is the third year we've done this together, the 21 day challenge. It's so fun to have like, this is what we do annually. 
Um, hey, Diane, good morning. Columbus, Mississippi, day two of the 21-day challenge. I got I dropped my little spinner. Down 3.2 pounds in one day. Congratulations. That is awesome. Hey, Samantha. Oh, yes, the sunshine is going to come out today. Thank you, thank you. Um, but I'm glad I can be a little bit of sunshine on those dreary days, too. Happy Tuesday to you, Samantha. I am F Day in Chatsworth, Georgia. Cheryl Davis, Tiger 16 Day in Clarksville, Georgia. Hey, Kathy, good morning from Michigan. Perfect. I am F Day, day two. Hey, Colleen, good morning from Michigan. Had a stomach bug yesterday. I am F 24 hours. Oh, goodness. Well, she's going to have a perfect day today. I'm sorry about that stomach bug. Sometimes you're like, I got a stomach bug, but I, I, I am F24. <laughs> That's funny. I hope you're feeling better, Colleen. Um, so, see, in the South, there's, uh, I'm going to tell you a story, Colleen. There is a local girl. Her name is spelled like your name, but they say it's Colleen. And that's just a Southern thing because I have a, I had a cousin who was named Carrie and her, but when she was little, her, her grandmother and other aunts and uncles and stuff called her Carrie. Hey, Carrie. And, um, and then I called her Carrie as an adult one time when I saw her, cause I don't see her very often. Then I called her Carrie cause I thought her name was Carrie. She goes, my name is Carrie. I mean, it was, I said, Oh, I'm sorry. They always said Carrie. <laughs> So, but I had never heard Colleen. I have an aunt who, her name is Elaine, but we don't say Elaine. It's Elaine. Did you see Elaine today? So, it's Elaine. But every time I, now, now that I, I've just met this other girl that calls herself Colleen, Colleen. But, yeah, day two, Karen, way to go, awesome. Hey, Lynn, good morning. 21-day challenge, perfect in Temple, Georgia. Hey, Alicia, I am F Day in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. Shanda, hey, Shanda, perfect day in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. Michelle Harper, good morning. I am F Day, watching from the car, Carrollton, Georgia. Hey, Julie, I am F Day. Julie from Indiana, day two of 21. Sharon is doing 21, 21, 21, day two. Awesome. Hey, Andrea, good morning. Perfect day here and down over a pound from yesterday. Yay! This program is amazing. It really, really is. Thank you, Chris. Abounding and abundant. Today, as you're just living your day, say, Lord, you are abounding and abundant. And if you can start adding the other words that we use, Abba Father, able. Oh, forgot it. What was it? What was it? Abiding. And we add abounding and abundant. Just let those attributes flow through your mind and your heart today. Let them flow off your lips and praise. It'll be fun to learn these new words this year. Hey, Lynn. Oh, yes, that's right. That's right, Lynn. Um, yes, abounding and abundant. Okay, I see it. I see it. No, I know you weren't in class, but I knew that y'all would say like a little cheer. I say portion. You say control. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a second. Hey, Kathy from Rockmart, Georgia, down six pounds and minus my insulin bedtime shot. <laughs> Kathy, oh, what a blessing. Congratulations. That is awesome. Hey, Sharon, good morning. Hickson, Tennessee. Hey, Angelia, Western North Carolina, having an IMF day. Oh, yeah. It's funny, and it really should, Colleen, it looks right to me, so I don't know how they, well, it's southern accent is what they're doing down here, and they are placing the uh, the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Um, let's see. Uncle Byron named Barn. Byron. Byron. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I just said it that way. <laughs> We're crazy. All right, chastity, 21-day challenge. Just took new updated pictures, and man, that is humbling. Yeah, yeah, it is. But you know what? It helps us because we can look back after the 21 day challenge and say, look what I accomplished. So they're very important. I'm glad you did it. Hey, Amy, perfect day from work today. Down three pounds, awesome. Congratulations. Hey, Belinda, good morning. Good morning, thank you for sharing, Diane. Thank you, and there we go. Sharon's got it. I say portion, you say control. But I wanna put a new spin on that. Who is our portion? In the Bible, who is our portion? Who's our portion? That's right. The Lord is our portion. Jesus is our portion. That's right. Think about that. He is our portion. He's our portion. But does he 
meter out controlled little bits. No, he gives us the right amount. His portion is the perfect amount. His portion is sufficient for us. And let's look at these words. His portion is abounding and abundant. I mean, his portion is perfect. So when we think about the Shibboleth shield and how that has been put together for us to live by each day, when we get down to portion, I think that we think we should think instead of control, which we're used to thinking. And when we say portion control, oftentimes we're thinking these little meanie amounts and it's just so little and we have to meter out every little thing. Well, we do, but we're trying, but it's sufficient. That's where I wanted to get to. It's sufficient. What is under your two hands for your tummy to eat at that moment is sufficient. So I want us, when we say portion, to say sufficient instead of control. Yeah, we're doing the act of portion control, but it is sufficient. Just like our Lord is sufficient for each and every moment of every single day. The portion that we get on our plate, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, if we happen to have a snack, an extra, or a freebie, use the amounts that are allowed in the food library, your portion is then sufficient, just like the Lord. He is, yes. So, yes, portion is sufficient. That's right. Um, I love it. I love that y'all are saying all of that. Awesome. Thank y'all. Uh, hey, Diane, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Yes, Belinda, Christ is our portion, which is abundantly enough. So, let's, let's kind of rethink those portions that we have on our plate, too. They are sufficient. But today's devotion is actually coming from a new book that I've got, Jesus Always, by Sarah Young. <laughs> she, y'all, y'all, her story, I didn't know her story. And I read her story in the beginning of that, and um, she, something happened. I've already forgotten, but I know that she is in uh, a wheelchair and can't move around very well. But I'll have to reread that. But anyway, the devotion for today is do not dwell on the past. Do not dwell on the past. And this is like Jesus speaking to you. See, I am doing a new thing. As you begin a fresh year, rejoice that I am continually working newness into your life. Don't let recent disappointments and failures define you or dampen your expectations. We have just come through the what I consider the toughest time of the year for staying on a lifestyle, okay? So if you've had any disappointments, like from Thanksgiving to Christmas to New Year's, do not let those stop you from doing um, what you need to do in the new year, okay? And don't let them dampen your expectations of what the lifestyle can do by living it. This is the time to make a fresh start. Isn't that lovely? A fresh start, a new game of life, the, the next edition. I am a... Um, I am a God of unlimited creativity. Expect me to do surprising things in this year that stretches out before you. Today is a precious gift. The present moment is where I meet with you, beloved. So seek my face throughout this day I have made. I have carefully prepared it for you with tender attention to every detail. I want you to rejoice and be glad in it. Who is singing the little elementary song right now? I love that song. Search for signs of my loving presence as you journey along the path of life. Look for the little pleasures I have strewn along your pathway, sometimes in surprising places, and thank me for each one. Your thankfulness will keep you close to me and help you find joy in the journey. So I think that was a great devotion, obviously, for the beginning of a new year. But us beginning, if, you know, some people needed to get restarted, that type of thing. You got to have all that um, positivity. Let's let that past go. Even if it was yesterday, let's let that past go. Let that recent past go and boom, just move forward. Because working the Shibboleth lifestyle in your in your daily life results results improved bodily conditions quickly. <laughs> the other thing that I was talking about last night in class is balance. We want to have a balanced life and many people before they found Shibboleth and learned the standards for eating had more chaotic life. It was not very balanced. Shibboleth helps us live a balanced life. 
We can balance that monthly by not having more than six holidays in a calendar month if you're in weight loss and not more than 12 if you are in maintenance. That's what creates the balance. And Patricia uh, Hurt last night said that she, it, she imagined herself on a teeter-totter, that she's on a teeter-totter and the side starts going um, up too high or down, that she just goes back the other way, that you're trying your best to keep that teeter-totter just like that. And I did my full year, well, I did my month stats last night, but I looked back at the full year after I had done that, and I maintained this weight loss within a 10-pound range, which, you know, in a day's time, we think, oh, goodness, that is so much. But if you look at it over a year's time, maintaining 10 pounds within 10 pounds is amazing. It actually looks like a straight line on a graph almost if you, if you do that. But if we were to gain those 10 pounds every year, then we don't get rid of them. That's when we end up in a spot where we want to turn around and go the other way, okay? So look back at your stats for the year. See where you've been because we want to live a more balanced lifestyle when it comes to food, not a chaotic one. So the verse for today is Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. And I love the book of Isaiah. Anytime they give a reference to Isaiah, I'm like getting in there. I love Isaiah. Um, but, but forget all that. Forget all that. Forget all that past stuff. It is nothing compared to what I am going to do, for I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. So if you feel, if you feel like you're drowning, you feel like you're in a barren area, either one, you have newness coming before you. And I'm so happy about that. Thank y'all for typing in that verse. Um, yes, we want that balance and everything. Come here, Daisy wanted to say hello. She jumped off of her little bed over there by the window and came over here to me, didn't you? She's so cute. Look, you want to say hello to everybody? Say hello. She's like, no, I don't want to say hello. I just want to be here. <laughs> hey, Marla, good morning. Good morning. So glad that you are here. Okay, well, we're going to hop off this morning. Uh, what's going on on Planet Shibboleth today? Not much. Y'all just live the lifestyle, okay? Live the lifestyle, yes. Look, Robin says, hey, Daisy. And Chris says, hey, Daisy. Oh, and there's Amy saying, hey, Daisy. Awesome, thank y'all, thank y'all. Um, Travis will get back to doing his classes in the, you know, he's soon, they've just been taking a break. You know, they work really, really hard and it's okay for them to take that break. I had um, somebody message, thank you, Roseanne. I had somebody message me yesterday saying, is they okay? I'm like, they're fine. They're fine. I just talked to them today. But, um, uh, sorry, a message came through. But they're doing fine. He'll get back to his classes and everything. And in the meantime, you know what? Let's just show ourselves that we can do this Shibboleth lifestyle no matter what. No matter what. Yes, they're totally fine. They are. Um, and they'll get back to some regular classes and stuff like that. Uh, what else is going on? Nothing. Share Shibboleth with people, y'all, and let's help um, Let's help save some lives, improve, not save lives, Jesus saves lives, improve some lives, improve some health conditions and all of that. All right, I could talk forever, but I'm going to go. So I will see y'all in the morning for the Shibby Show. If you have not journaled your day, please go ahead and journal it. There we go. You big yawn, Daisy. And then if you're watching on replay, hey, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. All right. Bye, everybody.